today we are going to see about simulating data sources so basically we simulate the data when the actual external connector or web service is still not ready or maybe in development so pega platform provides us the ability to simulate external data sources simulating an external data source is useful in situations where the external system is unavailable you can simulate any external data source as long as you know what data the source is expecting and returning so if you don't know the response or request structure of that data source then you can't simulate simulating a data source with sample data allows you to develop and test applications without interruption interruption until the actual data from the external system or application is ready say external server might be down or external system still other team is building then still you can continue development in pega application by by using the simulated data option so simulator source you need to configure say for example whenever you, you click on data will come into the data objects and integrations page in app studio here you can see simulated it means that this data is simulated actual source is undefined you see here undefined source is undefined actual source it is yet to be defined for now we are sim using simulation so for example consider payment information it is not having any system of record or source if you have a system of record you can connect to that so that data pages will be created list type saveable type and normal data page by default they will use report definition to get the list of list details look up for single data page if you want you can change the data source if uh, so if it is internal or external table then that report definition would suffice say what if it example if you need to use some connector then you can modify the source in that create already created data pages to the connector but say if the external system is not readily available and you want to create simulation then you need to click on create simulator sources open the data object payment information go to data pages in earlier versions of pega right to the right side of views tab there used to be a data views data now they have replaced the data views by data pages because internally when you create this or this it will create a data page only so now i have to press the okay as you can see here now to uh, some data page is created this is list type this is single type so now we can configure source if we click so far now it is simulation in future if you want you can configure the source from here also you can view the created data page in dev studio to get a bigger picture to big to get 70 mm picture so you can click on this three dotted icon you can see open in dev studio so this is the actual data transform that is the sorry data page that got created so in, initially it was using a connect rest actually disable the data source because when the moment you press simulate data source then whatever data source it already has that gets disabled so now we will uncheck this so actually it is a connect rest actually but that connector is still not created external system is still not ready we still did not get the endpoint url or we still did not get the uh, whsdl file so you can either manually click this simulate data source so you need to create that response in the response data transform only you need to make changes you need to get get the simulated response you need to add more steps here this is the default template data transform provided by pega so in this way we need to simulate our data source so now i am going to show you what is the difference between a data page which is having simulation so if you see here simulated is there right say now i click this this is these are the data pages which are created for the simulated data object we have we have clicked on simulation so when we open that data page which have simulation as you can see this simulate data source is checked and the current source is this this is a simulated data source when this checkbox is checked whatever source you see here that is a simulated data source when it is unchecked you get the real data source when it is checked you get the simulated data source even simulated data source have multiple types you can use report definition look up activity data transform in data transform you have to manually write that 
data transform and construct that object to use report definition it would be easier for you so in if you keep simulated data source as report, report definition then you can go to that class you can go to the records tab and add the data manually which you want to simulate so in records tab you can add those records for example there is an already created simulated data object for example vehicle models it is simulated so if you see it is also having two simulated data pages we whatever records we had here that only we get when we open that case type so here model whatever two data we are getting these are from the simulated because these data pages are currently getting data from the simulated source what is the simulated source for now for now the simulated source is uh, report definition as we have seen earlier so you can see here you can go to design you can click on edit you can uh, see the model so model basically we are getting on vehicle models list which is a data page if you open click the mirror icon it will open in dev studio see it is a simulated data source from where, what is the simulated new data source temporary data source it is a report definition what is the report definition for us when you run it whatever rule records are present in the class mapped to this data class you get those data that is what you see by running this report definition actions run so we are getting two data this two data is nothing but that uh, details present in the records tab you can get go to this records tab either from dev studio or app studio so you can add more records yes you can add those more records are nothing but new data so then in the drop down you will get three three rows see in future the external system is ready then you can configure the source you can have that connector this is the use of having simulated data source say now we will see service address this is also not having any sor it is also not having any source so if you see that record step is also not coming whenever you click create simulated sources or connect to system of record then only the record stop will tab will appear so now i'll tell connect to system of record Uh, say i will tell that the pega is my system of record means that uh, system of record is something is a database table which is inside my pega system or which is inside my pega environment so now again you can see the records tab is coming here also now also you can add records similar to the old case but the thing is now here the source will appear as the pega database earlier source was coming as simulated as you can see in the payment information case source will come as Uh, in the database uh, simulated undefined and some temporary undefined means temporary simulation we are doing to get the data in our runtime in our view so but now if you see service address it is taking pega as the database now what is the difference now also again three databases are created one is table list and page type now we can open the database in the dev studio so when I, as you can see now i have opened that uh, i think there is some issue will reopen yes so this is the so again it is same again it is creating a new data page but here this time the only deal, again this time also the source is report definition but this is time this is the real source actual source true source why because here simulated checkbox is not checked earlier the actual source is some connector when the simulation is check checkbox is checked you are simulated data source you are giving as report definition but now with simulation unchecked only we are giving the report definition it means that in this case it is not an simulated data source it is the real data source real data source itself is the record tab real data source is then quasi is defined in this data class real data source itself is the table which is mapped to this class so you can so this is the record tab and this is this is what is the real data whatever we had here that is your data or you can add it directly in the db as well so if you go to the open the class record and click test connection you can see the table so data in this data table database table in customer data schema is the real data earlier it was like local data 
so if you see vehicle models here also there are there are records here also it is mapped to some database table but for time being this is only for simulated how does it differentiated by using the checkbox in the database simulated data source thank you